life lessons with Juvie. You gonna learn something today, motherfucker. What's going on, folks? Life lessons with Juvie. I am your host, as always. Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat at J U V Y T H A K I D. Let's get to the topics. Little Jenny Wren. Do you ever look for answers, guidance, or omens in dreams? Do you even remember your dreams? Um, some, some, some dreams I remember, you know what I mean? Or some, it's almost like, just like fragments. Like I just, I can only remember like very like small flashes or bits and pieces to it all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. Yeah, some dreams I remember, some, some it's weird, because, like, while you're having them, like, you, it's almost like you realize you're having a dream, but even, like, the next day, like, when you wake up, you just, you don't remember what the dream was about or anything, um, I don't know, it's weird, um, do I look for guidance, answers, or omens in my dreams, um, I don't look for them. If, if I have a dream and I wake up and I like, I don't know, I don't know how to, de how to describe it. Like if I have a dream and I wake up and it's like, I can feel something kind of like, uh, just like struck with me, you know what I mean? Like something just like, you know, I wake up feeling different about something or, um, like I just, that one part of the dream or whatever, like is just like keeps playing through my head or something that was said in the dream, whatever it is. Um, sometimes I'll use that. I don't know. Cause like, I can't help but feel like maybe that is something. Um, but it, yeah, I'm not one of those people that, uh, if I have a dream, I wake up and I start trying to like interpret it and, uh, trying to like figure, like decode it and like apply different things to my life. Like, Oh, like, I sat down at a dinner table and instead of the fork being on the left and the knife on the right, it was reversed. That means something in my life is going to change. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, it's one of those things, I uh, like I don't look for it or anything. Um, but sometimes if I like, I don't know if I wake up and I can like feel that something is like, uh, kind of like staying with me, then, um, I'll try and figure it out, you know what I mean? I'll try and kind of, like, understand if I can what it means. Um, I think I've talked about it before. Uh, I had this dream. Uh, where are we? 2017? So I had this dream two years ago. Um, I think it was, yeah, 2015. Um, everywhere I went in this dream, there was this girl... I, like, I don't know who she is. I, di I didn't recognize her or anything like that. Um, but she just kept saying, like, five years. He, he has five years left. And she just kept saying that. And, like, he, she would say, like, you have five years left. But, like, it was like other people could hear her or something. Or, like, they just couldn't hear her. And she, but she was still talking to them. It was weird. Um, at one point in the dream, I don't know what happened to me. But I remember... I was laying down and people were, people were like operating on me or something. Um, I don't know. I remember some, like hearing somebody say that he's dead and I was like, Oh shit, I died. And like after them saying like, he's dead. I remember this girl's voice saying like, not yet. He still has five years left. So I didn't, I, I have no idea to this day, like what that means, what that's like apply, like what, how to apply that to my life. Do I think I'm going to die in 2020? Um, I hope not. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what it means. Um, for me, I've kind of taken it as almost, um, hmm. how can I put this almost as like a weird, like, I don't know. A weird entity in the shadows, you know what I mean? Like, anytime I start feeling like, ah, oh, fuck it, like, what's the point of doing this short film, or what's the point of, like, doing this or that or whatever, you know, like, I fucking, it, like, I can't, like, I don't know, I just hear this voice, like, in the back of my mind, just kind of, like, whisper, like, five years, 
And I'm like, all right, no, we got to get shit done. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's five. Like, I, I, I have no idea what it means. Um, I guess for me in a way, like, I guess if I look at the way my life played out now, like in retrospect over the past, like two years, um, I don't know. Maybe it meant like I have, I had five years, like I have five years to kind of like figure out what I want to fucking like what I want to do with this, like the create creative outlets or whatever. You know what I mean? Cause I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe it was like shortly after that dream that I like, I departed from, or I made the, t I had started really thinking about departing from failed youth. Um, I had made this other decisions in my life to like change certain things. And, uh, I just, I really started like thinking about doing videos and like start making like my own short films and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if there are omens and, you know, lessons and, hey, maybe I'm fucking, maybe I'm being a little silly about the whole five years thing. Um, dreams are a crazy thing. Um, but like I said, I don't, I don't go looking for things, but when I wake up and it's like, I just feel weird from it. Um, and you know, not in like the sassy dream, you wake up feeling weird. <laughs> um, but no, if I just, I don't know if something's like sticking with me, then yeah, I'll for sure. I don't know. Kind of like try and figure it out if I can. Next topic. Little Jenny ran with the one twos. If you were to create music with another genre that's different from what you do now, what genre would it be? Well, for those that don't know, uh, from time to time, I do dabble in making hip-hop music. <laughs> uh, there's a playlist on this channel, actually, called Music, so if you want to check any of it out. Uh, some, of the, some of the videos are from, like, fucking years ago. Um, but there's going to be more coming out. I'm actually going to be doing, uh, releasing a new song uh, within the next couple of days, uh, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to shoot the video for it. Cause I don't know. I want to do something different than how, uh, I did the last song. It just, I don't know the way it was shot. Just super bugs me either way. <laughs> um, if this is actually an easy topic for me to answer, um, if I was to do anything else besides hip hop, it would be opera or, uh, theatrical, like, um, Hmm. like theatrical music like writing for like uh, like writing songs and stuff and like whatever for like plays um i've always been a big fan of like the emotion behind opera uh the stories that are told through it and uh especially if you get to see the performances and you see the actors performing these you know operatic plays it's uh it's, I don't know, it's, uh, it's beautiful to me, honestly, it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's emotional, it's powerful, uh, you see, like, you see the type of talent that gives you goosebumps, you know what I mean? Like, for me, I don't know, um, when it comes to, like, singing voices, like, ah, uh, some, some people, that should, that'll bring a tear to my eye, because it's just, like, such a beautiful story, such a good song, it's just the way the person sings it, uh, it, it gets me, um, and opera does that for sure, uh, I would love to not even, like, maybe write the songs, but, like, have, um, just, like, the idea with the stories, and, like, sit down with somebody else, and they can help, like, write the songs as I'm kind of, like, telling this story. And they can help me interpret that to opera. And then I can kind of be like, okay, let's make this one more of a darker tone. Let's make this one more of a peaceful yet, like, optimistic. You know what I mean? Um, if I did songs for, like, plays, just, like, re like regular, like, things like uh, Phantom of the Opera, uh, Oklahoma, <laughs> uh, Cats, Lion King, um, like, think, like, think of a stage musical, you know, um, for those don't, that don't know, actually, uh, I'm actually a really huge fan of Phantom of the Opera, um, the, the musical and, like, the original book by Gaston Leroux, um, it's just, ah, 
It's such a good story. Poor, poor Eric. And even, like, a lot of people don't know this. The musical, like, the story for, like, the musical is, v like, vastly different from the original book. Um, it's, I don't know, the original book for me, I, I connected to the musical for sure. And uh, the aesthetics of, like, uh, just... It's one of those things, okay, so, like, for the first, like, kind of, like, plays that I had seen were kind of, like, those, like, whimsical, you know, almost like a, I don't know, it was, like, like Cats. I had seen that on, like, VHS back in the day, and, uh, like, just a couple other, like, little musicals, and then Phantom of the Opera was, like, this darker thing, and, you know, it had, it was, uh, it was just, like, it was this genius that was dwelling in the shadows and if you just if you heard him sing or you heard his music you would you would know more of his story and you know he was a people said like he was a genius when it came to music as well and just but nobody would listen to him or even appreciate him just because of the way he looked but oh just i, I don't know <laughs> uh, the book the the original silent film interpretation of it uh, uh lon cheney um that uh, iconic film iconic film um but either way i would do stuff kind of i don't want i don't want to say along the lines of phantom of the opera but like my stuff would be a, a darker type thing for sure excuse me, excuse me um yeah i don't know i would love to do uh like opera or you know a, a play i think that would be really i don't know i just think that'd be super dope especially like especially because it's one of those things where it's you know like with the short films even if it's just like a little like intro that i cut together i feel like it's these things where it's like it's flashes of like who i am you know what i mean like it's a it's a different side of me and i'm able to like visually manifest it and like oh it's just it's one of those things where it's like when when i'm able to do that and other people hit me up and they're like man like this conversation we were having a couple weeks ago now that i see this like i i understand more you know what i mean and if i could if i could like do something like that on a stage and have even just a few people in the audience be like, holy shit, I'm not the only one who's thought like this. Or, you know what I mean? Kind of like the same effect that like uh, directors like <laughs> Clive Barker, Brian Fuller, Wes Craven, um, you know, just different um, horror or just like uh, just different creative minds. That is like growing up or that I've found in like my adult years now it's like holy shit like I'm not the only one who looks at certain things and sees like this could be a beautiful scene this isn't just like a twisted death thing you know what I mean um I don't know I would love to do something like that so if I didn't if I wasn't doing hip-hop I would love to work on uh, an opera or uh, a play, a musical. I think that would be really, really fun to do. So, <laughs> this has been Life Lessons with Juvie. I've been your host, Juvie the Kid. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at J-U-V-Y-T-H-A-K-I-D. I'm my quiet kids, freaks, and weirdos. I'm going to love everybody. Keep being weird. <laughs>